Oh, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just checking in on a little friend, um, Mr. Sprinkles. He was my best imaginary friend growing up. And I put him in this nice, cute little box so he could never leave me. I mean, I mean, you know, to keep him safe. I, I put him in here to keep him safe. But you know, let's check in on him and see how he's doing. Oh, Mr. Sprinkles. What? Oh look, there's a note. Where could he have gone to? Dear Spectra, I'm blowing this joint. Mr. Sprinkles, Mr. Sprinkles this, Mr. Sprinkles that. You know what? My name is Tom. Not that you ever bothered to ask. Solve your own problems for once. Just like a man. Pack up and leave me. No bother. I'll find another one somewhere. So growing up, did you have an imaginary friend? And what would you do if they turned up when you were older? That is the question in 1991's Drop Dead Fred. A movie that desperately wants to be Beetlejuice, and you didn't hear this from me, but both Tim Burton and Winona Ryder reportedly turned down involvement in the movie. Help them, please. I want out. Eh, they didn't miss much. The film stars Phoebe Cates, who is used to dealing with annoying pests, like in 1984's Gremlins. Lizzie is down on her luck, and I will let her explain exactly why. I'm so sorry, Your Honor. I lost my money, my car, my husband. All in one lunch hour. She is forced to move back in with her overbearing mother, which brings back some childhood trauma. You've been playing with him, haven't you? Where is he? Don't, don't, don't take him away from me! Oh, so that must make you cry, huh? Well, don't. now I know what to do. Give me Then Lizzie does the one thing you're not supposed to do. The box. You opened it. And out pops Drop Dead Fred. <laughs> he is played by legendary British comedian Rick Mayle, who as American viewers might recognize as the voice of Mr. Toad in The Wind and the Willows. A motor car. Yeah. What have I been missing? Then Fred has a reaction many men have to women above 30. Ah, that's the base! Yuck! What happened to you? Look at you! You're all older! You're even uglier! Ugh. Lizzie's mother doesn't believe her that he's back. Oh my god! Is it? It is! Witch, witch, he said witch, he, he said, he said witch. Uh, her supportive friend is played by the late, great Carrie Fisher, who is one of the only people to believe this crazy story. Fred then gets Lizzie into all sorts of trouble, like ruining her date. Had to, you know, get back into the whole dating. Why did you do that? Thinking Carrie Fisher's houseboat. What? And disrupting a mall performance. Her mother takes her to her child psychologist, where Fred meets some of the other imaginary friends. Definitely reminds me of some parties I really didn't want to be at. Drop Dead Fred is a movie that is too silly for adults and way too crass for small children, but if you catch it at the right level of immaturity, you're in for a fun time. Rick Mayall is giving it his all, even if at times it seems like he's playing all of Jim Carrey's roles at once. The themes of mental health and dealing with childhood trauma as an adult make it a worthwhile watch, even if it can't quite step out of Beetlejuice's shadow. I believe Carrie Fisher said it best. Thank you, Tom Dead Fred! Thanks for spending this time with me. Spectra. Whoa, I like her. She is good. She is awfully good. 
catch me next time as we move through more of my VHS collection. I think I see more films in your future. Until next time. Do you have any rad 80s or 90s VHS suggestions you would like us to cover? Well, leave them in the comments below. The more obscure, the better. Oh, I mean, everybody has strange friends. Even you must. But all mine are alive. Well, that's not saying much. <laughs>